sometimes it's useful to be able to create funny or engaging photos or comic strips in our teaching. And there are a variety of tools that let us do that. Uh, we'll look at a couple of them here, starting with Photofunia, which has dozens of existing templates that you can choose from, everything from wanted posters to aliens. I think I'll go ahead and choose the alien motif as an example. Uh, once you're here, just click, cho you can choose whether you want green skin or not. Different uh, templates have different options that you can choose. I'm gonna go with green skin. Um, you can take a picture from your webcam if you want, or you can upload a picture. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a picture of myself, and it will upload the image and convert it to the alien look after you have cropped it. Kind of, so if you have a photo with multiple faces, you can highlight just the face that you want, click OK, and go. And this will create the modified image for you. And there I am as an alien. Not that different, actually. Uh, any, any event, if you would like to share this, you can do that. If you'd like to save the image, uh, you can save it full size or as an icon. You can also right click on it and save image as. Another tool is called Fantastic Face. And what this lets you do is upload a picture and directly modify it. Um, you can choose a photo from your Facebook or take one from your webcam, search for an image, or upload an image. So I'll choose my face again. And there are all these different options of things you can add. Uh, facial hair probably isn't useful for me, but you can change your eyes if you want by clicking and dragging. Uh, you can change the ears. And again, you click and drag that. There are a variety of props you can add. Uh, so if you want to wear a hat or a mask of some kind, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wear a, looks like a goalie mask. And you can adjust the size so that it fits optimally on whatever image you're working on. And then there's also options down here for adjusting lighting and things like that. And when you're done, you can click Finish and download that image, or again, right-click, Save Image As. One last photo manipulation tool we'll take a look at is Photo Morph. And what this lets you do is take two different images and morph them as a combination or to see what a baby would look like. So as an example, we'll choose President Obama and Brad Pitt. So if we were to mix these two faces, this is what you would get, a combination photo. Uh, if you would like to see what a baby would look like, you can choose two different images. So let's say Harry Potter and Beyonce. If they were to have a baby, you can click Morph Baby and you can choose whether it's a boy or a girl. Let's see what a boy would look like. And this is the Harry Potter Beyonce uh, baby. So there are a variety of other sites that allow you to do this. You can check those out. Sometimes it's useful to be able to make a comic strip in your teaching. Uh, one site that lets you do this is makebeliefscomics.com. And the way this works, there are a variety of characters that you can choose. And once you click the character, you can move them up to the frame. And you can adjust uh, size and orientation and a variety of things here. So once you click on this and click scale, you can make the person smaller or larger. Uh, if you want to move, you can move them wherever you want in the frame. There are all these different talk balloons that you can choose. And again, you move that into the frame and you can adjust the size. And enter text. Yes, click on the move icon and then you can type uh, whatever you want here. If you'd like to add a panel prompt like this, you can add them up here and again change the text of whatever you want it to say. In order to be able to edit one of the panel prompts you have to choose the one that says type your own 
and then here you can type whatever you want the prompt to say. When you're done and ready to save it, you can click print or email and this will save the comic strip that you have created. Again, you'll find a variety of other comic strip building tools here. Uh, so good luck and have fun.